These are the moments recorded on a red light camera of when Jaguar Denard Robinson glided through a south side intersection earlier this month and drove into a retention pond where his car partially sank. Police released the surveillance video today, and Joy is here now with what it appears to confirm about the accident. Joy. Mary, Tom, just days after the July 3rd accident, the woman who called 911 describes to us what happened early that morning as she and her son sat right there at the intersection of Beach and Southside Boulevards, that Chevy Impala slowly coasting on the wrong side of the road right toward them. Now we can see for ourselves on this video from a red light camera, the black Chevy Impala glide through the south side intersection into the oncoming lanes before rolling out of frame and into a nearby retention pond. I said, I said, Antonio, it's, it's in the water, it's in the water. And that's when I proceeded to turn the car around. Winifred Henry did her best to describe to us what she saw early the morning of July 3rd. She says that's her car sitting at the light in this traffic surveillance video. She and her son Antonio watched as the car cruised very slowly into the lane next to them, heading the wrong way. And I was telling my son that I said, thank God we were the only ones on the road at that time. I said, because some, if someone was in that lane, it would have been an accident. Wouldn't have been a bad one, but an accident is an accident. The mother and son had no idea when they called 911 that one of the people in that sinking car was Jaguar's running back, Denard Robinson. There's a car in a retention pond. It just veered right in front of me and came right into the retention pond. No one was injured in the crash, but it took the responding officers a while to get Robinson and his female passenger out of the car. Police on the scene say the duo didn't realize they'd run off the road. The crash report says Robinson and the woman fell asleep in the car. Robinson was later cited for careless driving, a $164 fine. Sheriff Mike Williams says he's ordered a review of how the officers at the scene handled the crash. That review is still in the works. The Jaguars haven't commented about the crash, but Robinson released a statement saying he shouldn't have been driving that late, and he's glad that no one was hurt. Tom.